guys, I'm Mary Beth Temple, and I want to talk to you about foundation chains. Now, when you make a chain to start a project, that becomes the foundation chain because it's the foundation of your project. Sometimes when you're working into that foundation chain, you work in the back or bump, but sometimes you work into the front or the V. I'm going to talk in this video about working in the front or V of your foundation chain. Now, when you're making a foundation chain for an item, by which I mean you are chaining to start a project or a piece of a project, and it tells you to work into the chain, you have two choices. And in this video, we're going to take a closer look at working in the front of the chain. So if you want to know which is the front and which is the back, look at the bottom of the stitch. And you see that little V? That is the front. If you're also a knitter, it looks like a column of stuck knit stitch on the right side. If you're going to uh, look at the back, we see those bumps, or some people call them humps. I prefer bumps. So on the back of the chain, you see bumps. So we're going to talk about working into the front of the chain. Now, because this is very technical, <laughs> but if you're gonna learn, it's good to learn right. Um, so every part of a chain stitch has three legs, the two legs of the stitch that make up the V on the front, and then the uh, bump that goes with it. So there's, now let's pull this way apart. So you see, looking at it from the back, here's three legs, one, two, three. Looking at it from the front, let's pull that V way apart and you can see one, two, three legs. So if you're going from the front, you can work under one of the legs of the stitches or two. And either way is okay. It depends, you know, what you're going to do next. I prefer to work under two legs of the chain because I want it to be super sturdy. I don't want it to be loose. So I'm going to just do a single crochet. For single crochet, 99,000 times out of 100, it will tell you to start working in the second chain from hook. And that's because you can't work into the first chain from hook because it comes undone. So we're going to the second chain from hook. We're working into the front and I'm going to work under two legs. So I'm going to take the pointy part of my hook and I'm going to insert it in that V, but under two legs of that chain and finish my single crochet. All right, so there's my next chain. I see one, two, three legs. I'm going to work under two and finish my single crochet. So that is working into the front of the chain under two legs. Well, now what if for whatever reason, maybe I'm gonna have a big heavy edging on there later that I'm worried about. I only wanna work under one of those legs. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. So here it is under two legs and there's my one leg, that's my edging. I have my one leg down there and I have a good sturdy first row of single crochet or, you know, whatever stitch you're doing. If I wanted to continue on and only work under one leg, but again, working from the front, I'm just going to grab this guy up here. So I'm going to go under one leg of the stitch, yarn over and pull it through. And again, I'm just doing single crochet here. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm going to go under one leg of the stitch. under one leg of the stitch. And then in that case, here, let me just put, yeah, I'll put one more on there and see the difference. So in this case, so here were my stitches that I did under two legs of the stitch. My edging is a little loose. If I'm gonna go back and put an edging on there later, that might be just fine, but this is very sturdily attached to the chain. Going in this direction, I have a nice sturdy edge here because it has two legs. But you see how much space I have, how those stitches are pulling up? So whether you want to go in the front under two legs or the front under one leg, it really is going to depend on what's going to happen to this piece when you're done with it. For a lacier piece, I would definitely go under one leg. Um, also, we have some other video for you here on going in through the back of the chain, the bump of the chain, and we're going to talk about that in a minute too, so you can go check that video out as well. So that was working into the front or the V of your chain to make a foundation chain. So I'm Mary Beth Temple, 
There's a lot more for you to see here, so I encourage you to check that out. And I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Thanks for joining me.